All right, so we got a Toyota Prius here. We're gonna do a repair on this vehicle display. What's that say there? Coolant performance of the hybrid battery is low. Consult a dealer. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. We're not waiting for them to take it to the dealer. So shut it off. Okay, so our theory here is this is a lift vehicle. It's got a lot of miles. And here's the inlet for the battery cooling system. I'm suspicious that there's quite a bit of gunk in the cooling fan duct and probably may have even worked its way into the battery itself. So we're gonna pull the trim out. We're gonna expose the HV battery and its cooling fan and duct. And we're just gonna clean those items. All right. So there's our air outlet, and our air inlet was on the side of the seat we saw earlier. Here's our fan. We want to pull this duct back to be able to assess the uh, fan and see if it needs a clean out. So if the impeller blades are totally covered in hair, they'll just swirl the air around they won't actually move the air there's our impeller blades they're definitely uh, starting to get plugged as soon as the uh, blades are bridged from one blade to the next with a dog hair carpet or enough dust that's when we stop moving air so we're definitely getting here uh, this one needs a cleaning so I got this very simple tool just gonna go in there and scrub Yeah, it's getting it. Knock some of that dust loose. Looky here. That is one hell of a carpet stuck on that inlet. I think that's our uh, problem right there. All right. All right, we're coming back together here. All right, so since we failed to reset using our very basic scan tool, we'll try and just do a uh, maintenance reminder reset and see if that goes ahead and clears our uh, our message about HV battery cooling. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this and start the car. So we're doing maintenance data reset there. And complete, good. All right, let's see if we cleared that uh, message. I've powered off again. I'll power on, and yes, our message is clear. Excellent. All right, we finished our battery clean out and general breast practice check the fluids. That might appear to be just a little low, but that's, that's what you call off the stick. So we're gonna add and see how low this car really is on oil. So I'm gonna pour in a quart and we'll see if that brings it up to level. Well, it turned out that the oil was a full two quarts low, so it was really good that we did that last step after our battery fan clean-out procedure and actually checked the oil because we probably saved the engine on this car. If the owner had continued to drive around for some long amount of time with all that oil missing, that would have been the end of that engine. So all in all, we did a good job and, and also saved the customer quite a bit of money on the uh, potential for engine damage.